VF Holder and GDS. So this has got the LSA engine in it. Customer came to us wanting to do further upgrades from his existing ones, which already had an intake and exhaust system. Um, so he wanted something lumpy, he wanted a big camshaft. We wanted to try out something new for once. And we chose to go with the BTR, so Brian Tooley Stage 4 PDS cam. And I thought maybe it was gonna be a little bit too big, but I tell you what, it's worked out pretty well. Like it's actually quite tame in its behavior. It has certainly got the correct idle. Um, and it sounds great, it's choppy, it does all the stuff it needs to do, but it's quite sedate in how it drives. So I'm actually really impressed with this camshaft. I'm probably gonna say this is probably nearly one of the best camshafts that I've done for a, for a blower application. So, but um, I'll give you a quick rundown on what we have done to this car. So it's it's got the 65 mil blower pulley on it, 10% overdrive uh, balancer, We've high flowed the injectors. Um, it's got the VCM side intake with the airflow meter still in place. And it's got the pacemaker full exhaust system with the two inch primaries, which is pretty cool. So four into ones, big boys. Um, and then on top of that, we've obviously put the BTR camshaft in it. So respond really well. Let's, let's have a look at the dyno graph and we'll go from there. So I'll get this light turned off. So as you can see there, there's there's the figure that it made before, so with the intake and exhaust system, and then now with the BTR, so 506 kilowatts, 843 newton meters of torque, versus the 389 kilowatts, 708 newton meters of torque. So bearing in mind that red line there is uh, tuned with the exhaust and intake. So, but this is the gains from pretty much just putting a BTR camshaft in it and a set of injectors because you need it because you run out of injector and you're also going to need a fuel pump because once you hit around that sort of 475 kilowatts um yeah the, the factory pump starts to run out of puff there as well so you kind of get bottlenecked and it sucks that you have to go and add those two extra items because they're quite expensive items but uh, it's just part and parcel of it so but um so just a quick quick rundown that's everything that we did do to it um and then yeah so you can see like at like 3800 rpm like massive amount of torque increase through the middle. No loss of power off the bottom whatsoever. Torque is up off the bottom. So there's absolutely no trade-off in this camshaft whatsoever. And if we go to the boost, so this is our boost line. So we've got 12 pound of boost in it. Well, peak boost is about 12.4 and then it pulls back to about sort of 11.9, but you know, it's 12.4 is the peak boost. So you call it whatever you like. Um, but interestingly enough, if you look at the red one, which is previously, you can see where the engine starts to bottleneck. And a lot of people get this confused with other stuff, but the, the reality is if you've got a boosted engine and you start to see your boost near the end start to run off, particularly with a supercharged engine, because um, obviously the blower speed is always mimicking or mirroring your RPM. So if your boost starts to run away with the blower, that means you're bottlenecking up in the engine and that's basically banking up. So what you see here is now, we've increased the speed of the blower by 10% off the crankshaft. We've put a bigger camshaft in it. We haven't gained any more boost and we've eaten the boost up in the top end. So that tells you that this camshaft is really, really efficient. And that has basically eaten up all of the boost and this is yeah how it makes the power so and you'll hear a lot of shops say you know we're going to put this cam in and it's going to eat up the boost that's what they mean when they say it's going to eat up the boost it literally is eating the boost up like the cookie monster you know what i mean it's just taking the boost and consuming it and making horsepower which is great um so this this cam shop we've got it on our online store i'll just show you there so BTR don't give you the exact cam specs of this camshaft. So it's basically, it's a 229-250X. So 636 newton meter, I mean, sorry, 636 is your lift and it's 116 LSA. But yeah, as far as what the other number is, they don't give you that. So um, obviously they, they've got their IP, they want to protect it, which is completely fair enough. These guys are invested in hardware to make these camshafts and they've got a lot of new grinds coming out now thanks to their new in-house machines that they're doing. So um, expect to see a lot of changes in BTR's cams, you know, in the in the months or years or whatever but yeah they're, they're revamping and redoing everything and pretty much all the new versions that we've been using have been absolutely brilliant so um 
we, we do use other you know can manufacturers but you will, you will notice that we we tend to lean towards one company for others and one company for another one so depending on the application really depends on what we use so we don't really have one set cam that works in everything um we, we tend to go with what gives us the best result for the application so but yeah but um anyway just another quick look at that dyno graph i'm super happy with it um probably another thing is just to show is that this is the fuel pump that we use, so it's Street Fighter by KPM. No, we, we chose to use the 1500 horsepower one in this one. We probably could have got away with a slightly smaller version, um, but I know for a fact this customer is going to come back. He's going to put cylinder heads on it. We'll probably put some compression into it. Um, we're not going to be able to spin the blower anymore, so we'll, we'll probably just do that stuff, maybe put an intake on the front, the VCM. Um, front intake with the OTR, um, as this is going into vacuum in the front, so there is some restrictions there. Um, and yeah, so it makes sense to just put the bigger fuel pump in this application because the customer is absolutely going to do it. It always happens, so, um, but yeah. But anyway, um, that's the VFGDS with that package. Um, we're gonna pretty much call this a stage four package and we're gonna add it to the website. Um, it, it will probably be on the website by the time you get to it or see this video. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time, and yeah, don't forget to subscribe, guys. Keep those subscriptions going, or subscribing, sorry, I should say. Um, just, yeah, just keeps me in the game. So thanks again. See you next time.